What's been described as the Citizen Kane of bad movies is gaining traction in America. When The Pitch of the Room was released in 2003, it was derided by critics, but now it's become a cult hit on the midnight screening circuit. As Ramon Goni reports, it's not the only awful film to be doing well. It's the hot ticket on the midnight screening circuit. It's the story of a love triangle in San Francisco. It's widely celebrated as the worst film ever made. We'll keep the change. Hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. Thanks a lot. Bye. It's now more popular than ever. So why do people come? It's just so consistently and unintentionally bad. It's, it's just this amazing fluke. You see something new every single time, and it just gets funnier and funnier. Stop ganging up on me! The film is poorly shot. The dialogue excruciating. I'm tired. I'm wasted. I love you, darling. The film's producer, writer, director and star has some terrible lines which audiences laugh. You are tearing me apart, Lisa! Lisa, you are tearing me apart! The room is high on audience participation. Plastic spoons are given out as fans arrive, which they then throw whenever, for no particular reason, framed images of cutlery appear in the film. People come together as a community and, and vibe on this movie as a community together and sharing jokes and sharing witticisms. It's all part of the appeal of this movie. It's an, it's an important part. Goblins still exist. And Grandpa Seth is telling you. Another picture called Troll 2 is also competing for the title of worst film ever made. Its fans are equally enthusiastic. When you enjoy it with friends and it's just Something about that, you know? Appreciating the awfulness, I think, yeah. It's just indescribably bad, and it's just hilarious because of that, and <laughs> so people can't, you just can watch it over and over again. Made 20 years ago, Troll 2 is a low-budget film. Many think it's terrible, but not some of the cast members. You compare our movie to a Katherine Hepburn and Humphrey Bogart movie, and it fits in. The phenomenon of bad because movies has even been recognized by academics. One assistant professor of film has been quoted as saying that The Room is one of the most important movies of the past decade, that it explores the fabricated nature of Hollywood. Troll 2 has been scrutinized in a full-length documentary. All right, we're going to start. The documentary is called Best Worst Movie. It's an endeavor to chronicle Troll 2's rise to fame as a film celebrated for being bad. It's been put together by Michael Paul Stevenson, who starred in Troll 2 as a child. The documentary has helped me understand why people love Troll 2 and what's happening with this movie and the way that it's being embraced. You know, most films could only dream of that type of impression with, with their audience. Hey, nice to meet you. <laughs> with the recession and the downward economy and a lot of the negative things you hear on the news, I think what I have found is just that sense of humor that explodes with everyone when they watch, especially a movie like Troll 2. It's, they call it the holy grail of, of bad movies. So. The directors of Troll 2 and The Room are hard to fathom. Claudio Fragasso made Troll 2. How does it feel that you were the director of the worst movie ever made? Not you think that you were uh, the worst movie. I did a very good movie. If the others say worst movie, I... It's a uh, them, them problem, not my problem. <laughs> Tommy Wiseau, the star and director of The Room, claims he fashioned his film as a black comedy for people to find funny. You know, people don't have to say it. They can feel it. Many directors would envy the fact that The Room is expanding its reach internationally. The thirst for cinematic awfulness is global. Troll 2 has even been embraced by American troops in Iraq. 